today I will make that drinker that I was talking about. Uh, I've purchased two drinkers like this. Uh, you might have seen something like that before. It's got a knot here. So they get separated. So I will make a hole, two holes uh, somewhere around here. I'll twist that one in. But to order to attach this knot to it, I need to have access to the inside of the barrel. And if you look at here, it is close from the top. It is close from the bottom, obviously. So I have to make a cut on it. Uh, I won't do it all the way around. As much as it becomes flexible, I can open it, put my hands in, and put these two together. So we start with cutting this and see how it goes from there. Okay, we just placed it on the floor and two block rounded so it doesn't move when we're cutting this. you what I've done here I made two holes at the bottom it's about 15 centimeters from the ground and I twisted the drinkers in but I ended up to cut the entire head off and it has some advantages and some disadvantages you can make two holes put the drinkers in without cutting the head at all but once you make any hole in it you get those blue dust or splinters they all fall inside the barrel and they can get into the drinkers and block them uh, plus drinkers they have two knobs at the back you can't do them without having access to the inside of the barrel but this barrel is too thick and the knobs they don't have enough grips so even if you don't do it it doesn't make a big difference but once uh, I cut these one off, I've noticed you can turn it around and it becomes a lid, just like that. So if this doesn't work, I have another barrel, I can just uh, do it again. This is how we learn. So I will fill it up and see if there is any leak or not. If there is, I'll take the drinkers out, put some silicon glue on them and twist them back. I've topped it up up to here there is no leak on this one there was a bit of leak here it seemed to stop uh, I'll give it a day then I can judge it better so see if it works uh, there's no water here it's dry as soon as you touch that it starts filling up great and if you want to clean them just take them out there you go the reason I put it that high but if you put it too low they get dirty very quickly because chickens start digging into the soil or if you got wood chips or whatever they fall into the drinkers just put them a bit higher all my chickens are big so there's no drama with that So I'll take all the other water source away and we'll let them in for a day, see how they play with these drinkers. That's what I've been using so far. It gets dirty very quickly, needs cleaning every day. This one holds around 200 liters, you can go away for two months and no worries about what. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 